The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. You are the salt of the earth. But who exactly is that you? Some of you know that a couple of weeks ago I enjoyed a visit to my oldest sister Jane and family down in New Orleans. And down in New Orleans they speak differently. It's wonderful. I was in a restaurant and the waitress called me sugar. I'm going to go back to that restaurant. (laughs) And of course, most famously, they say you all. And many times we up here in the North and elsewhere don't understand how to use that word properly. It's used as our very smart school children know, only for the second person plural. If I'm speaking with an individual, I would never say that. I would say you, just as we say here. It's only when more than one person is involved that they would say you all. And in fact, that's the norm around the world in every language. Just about every language, Spanish, French, German, Italian, and so on, They distinguish when you're speaking to an individual you or a group of you. In fact, even out east, where I'm from, one person is you, more than one, you guys. (laughs) And so when we hear this beautiful passage, this well-known passage, you are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world, It can be tempting for us to say that Jesus is speaking to uh, all of us. Well, yes. But what then happens for so many of us as Catholics is this. We go from thinking he is speaking to all of us to thinking that he is speaking to all of us except for me. You are the salt of the earth. That's right. My grandmother is the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Yes, those very serious Catholics over in the other pew, they are the light of the world. And before long, we're giving all of this teaching of our Lord to someone else. I hope they're listening over there. I hope they're listening. It's not for me. And yet, of course... This entire Holy Scripture is written to you and to me, to each of us, not just all of us, but to each of us. And years ago, someone gave me a tremendous piece of advice. When I was a young boy, they said, the Bible is a personal letter to you. So as you read the Bible, Put your own name in front of it. Bill, you are the salt of the earth. Bill, you are the light of the world. And one of the reasons why we Catholics have so little impact in this world, seem to make so little difference in this world, is because we're not taking Jesus' words personally. And yet they are. And I would encourage each of us, not just all of us, not just y'all, 
but you over there and you over there and me. In these weeks ahead, to listen to the scriptures with a new set of ears, our set of ears, my set of ears, and not just brush these things off, I hope somebody else is doing all this stuff. Uh Uh-uh. When you meet the Lord in heaven at the judgment, he's not going to say, how y'all doing? He's going to ask how your mother is doing and your father is doing. But that's a different conversation. What have you done? He will ask with what I have told you to do, with what I have called you to do, what I have given to you to do. This is a word for you. Listen. Listen to Jesus, not as he talks to the other side of the church, to those other people. Jesus is speaking to you.